Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and consider becoming a Patreon with the link in the description below. And thank you very much to all the Patreons that I do have that help support this channel. Much appreciated. And remember one more thing, folks. It's just whiskey. <laughs> okay. Today we're going to be talking about and reviewing an Oswa nominated Scotch blend. This is the Cutty Sock Prohibition and the Oswa, the Online Scotch Whiskey Awards. This is in the running for um, Best Blended Scotch. So, um, what do we know about this? Some good things, actually. It comes in at 50% ABV. It is non-chill filtered. And it's 30 bucks. Granted, you can't find it everywhere, but Cutty Sock is widely distributed just about everywhere. And I would imagine if you talk to the store manager, they could probably get you a bottle of this. No problem. Um, for the price, I enjoy this. Okay. Um, and also, too, uh, a real quick shout out to a fairly new channel called The Whiskey Enthusiast. And he hails from the country Turkey. The Whiskey Enthusiast um, offers very thorough uh, reviews. Uh, highly recommend checking him out. As well as, as I say often, <laughs> check out Whiskey Lock. Because he recently reviewed the Cutty Sock Prohibition. So check out his review as well. Don't just take it from me, folks. <laughs> All right. Cutty Sock, unchill filtered, 50% ABV, a blend, on the nose. It's actually got some complexity to it if you give it a little bit of time and let it, let it open up a little bit. The first mm. neck pour I had of this, I, I wasn't quite sure, okay? But after that, it opens up very nice. On the nose. Brown sugar, toffee, apricots, red licorice, a little bit of vanilla, and a, a hint of some, some peaty funk in there, believe it or not. This is non-peated, but I think there is in this blend. Now, this is a blend of single malts and grain, okay? So, this is not a 100% single malt. You are getting some grain in there, and, and you can tell. Okay, the palate. Mouth coating. Syrupy. Sweet. But not sickly sweet. It's got some sweetness to it. Very inviting, syrupy, mouth coating. That toffee's there. It's very viscous. You've got some honey, some red berries, with a nice peppery bite. And prominently displayed on the back, crack pepper and toffee is how they kind of uh, describe this with hints of vanilla, okay? Um, f and they describe it as full flavor, and it certainly is. The finish is satisfying. A medium-long finish. It's tongue coating, and you're, you're left with that lingering peppery bite, that black pepper bite. Again, I'm going to score this, okay, with the price as part of my score, okay? For $30, you're getting 50% non-chill filtered. Um, a very enjoyable blend. Um, I'm not ta tasting a lot of youth in there. I'm not tasting a lot of that 
alcohol spirity bite. Um, there's no age, this is a non-age dated, um, but I think it probably has some decent aged, um, some decent aged juice in there. Um, so I'm gonna score this for the money and for my enjoyment between an 85 and an 86. If this was the same price as Nika from the barrel, if this was 70 or $80, um, the score would be much lower. But for the price, I think this would please just about everybody. And if you think it's, I don't think it's uh, too rough, but if you think it's a little too rough around the edges, at, at, you know, at 50% ABV, you can certainly, uh, it, it, it plays well with a little bit of water. So that's my review. Um, vote on the Oswas and um, give it a thumbs up if you like this review. Consider subscribing, consider becoming a Patreon. It all helps, folks. That's it. Hats off to you all and take care, folks.